with Breathe and his top lane pool now? Is he just going to go towards yeah. all? It would give them a nice amount of re-engage, re I will say that. I mean, so far this year, uh, specifically in the spring split for Cube, we've kind of seen a lot of Renekton. So far in the summer split, though, hasn't been the most successful thing in the world. Has played it once and lost once, so is a little bit unfortunate. It is still his most... difficult to really kind of get out of that situation if you end up getting caught out. Yeah, I shouldn't agree with you. Both sides all loom out. Now, Ooh, that's all. That's, yeah, that's that is awful. very awkward. See, like, it's such a, God, yeah, was it? that was what, a while ago. Was it? it was Ambulance Soraka. <laughs> what was it in her kit that gave mana? Was it the E? It was the, it e, was right? the the yeah, I believe it was the, the E. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Oh, well, let's see that with all that kind of pressure up top side and uh, uh -oh. no supports to be seen. LP is honestly getting rinsed right now, and this is going to be a pretty oh. easy 1v1. Flash for flash, oh. Hope called his bluff, <laughs> and that is so clean to see. Cube now getting engaged upon by Lu Mao. It's a five-level difference between that Alistair and that Renekton, and here we go, a 4v4 as it all comes down. The Ornhorn comes in, Tangwin flashes away. Now Lu Mao's going to be turned into some beef burgers as they send him to the slaughterhouse. They can turn straight onto Wei and make a little bit of firewood as well. Tangwin trying to get a little bit of damage down on the shanks. We'll get the slowest shock blast ever to kill him off but will end up trading one for away yeah i wandy took a deep deep breath as he <laughs> hopped and skipped out of the back rng though sneaking away this dragon is huge yeah it means cube. no longer ocean soul available super early on for we so rng very happy with this exchange even if they're down several thousand gold do they want to go for this fight though? It looked like the, the Rift Herald was this call here from WE as they want to try and maybe accelerate it. They're in a bit of a choke right now. Hein gets himself onto the backside, turning himself onto Luma to try and knock up as many people as possible. The Ornhorn coming in to try and knock anybody up, but there will be a trade of Jace Pharrell. That is 100% worth for WE for the moment. A flash away by Luma means that he's able to keep himself he's safe. Be two towers from this as well. Yeah, the Malish Prox. Cube's going to have to take the long way out, but he will make it back home. And now they still pull the trigger. Yeah, looking for a little bit of movement here onto Hang, and we'll kill him off, Yikes. no problem whatsoever. TP coming in off the back of that means that Shanks is dead to rights as well. No flash for him to really go anywhere. Gets knocked up, get taken out, will be confirmed there by the Maokai. So good responses coming out here now from RNG. The game was starting to out of them. No one's actually diving onto this fully yet. Now they'll go in with the isolated Q damage. That's going to be Shanks confirming that kill. Tried to clear the way. Actually, didn't even really try to clear the way. No, I thought he, he, did what he was trying he to do, but that yeah. back onto Shanks for yeah. will eventually get caught out, you would imagine. But if he's able to get an ultimate onto someone like LP, blow his ultimate, blow the Feather Storm really quick, and that's exactly what he's going to go for. They're going to try and jump in with the Magnet Storm. Tanguin's already dead. The Ornhorn trying to come in. Does knock up a fair few of them, but look at this damage the cube is going for. And that isolated 1v1, you are never winning that one, LP. Hope comes in. Cube finishes them all off. It's a five for none. I think they're ready to fight. They're not going to let this one go over easy. Uh, they're thinking about it. For the moment, they haven't fully committed to it. They would like to have that tippers back before they really go for a fight. It's a bit of a fight on two fronts. Yeah, that was Whoa. odd. Why are you going in on that uh, way? That was just such a strange oh, move. And now the TP comes no. in. They're like... It's like sheep being herded to their deaths right now. They will try to turn on one of the wolves. The cube will be taken down. Looking more like a spear as he got... His corner's taken off him, but where do you go? How do you get out of this one here? You know you've just been corralled, but it's a 4v4. The engage has to come from my wand. The hang still has his ultimate available. The feather storm just about off cooldown. Here we go. They're going to jump in onto Breathe. He does get the knock up straight away onto Shanks. They're going to jump in. It's again another separated fight. There is the feather storm to go right up, but what goes up must come down. LP is doing absolutely no damage of any oh, significance man. and finally hope comes in oh. to finish off those kills we knew they had themselves an opportunity in that fight and they took it with control of this game i will say that little song and dance has cost them a majority of their baron time so they're not actually going to be able to yep. fish. and he's going to wrap oh my all god. the way oh into my chickens, god but there's a blue ward in there but either way he can just actually walk on the control ward. he doesn't matter the tp the tp yeah, they, they haven't been able to see the ward here comes shanks he flashes in lp has to cleanse and immediately go into the feather storm but he is dead turned in the chicken wings now breathe will be next to follow little mouth turned into some burgers as well it's a full fast fe food meal and this is we once again hey, but it's a five versus two i think if we are feeling themselves they will look to end this game right here right now not only end the game, but they also get themselves in the playoffs. But as we look to see maybe another re-engage, Wei going to jump over and try and get in on top of the wall, but has to use a stopwatch straight away, a flash away to keep him alive for the moment. Does oh, have I himself a twisted advantage with the Magnet Storm! 
brings them all together for a nice big hug. And Cube really rips through the rest of the team. LP, no flash, no cleanse. And now WE with the ace will try and end the game. They have to get the minion wave from top or mid. Either one will do. But it looks like they'll finally lock themselves into playoffs. RNG poked their head into the pit. And Iwandi brings them all back down to earth. That's going to be playoff secured for Team WE. It's been a bit of a awkward road to say the least. But 7-5 and five and this one individual game win in the series here against RNG. They will lock top 10. And they don't have to look over their shoulder no longer. RNG won't be able to secure playoffs today. Chances still there, however, to pick up a series win. But WE absolutely dominated them here in game number one.